As they enter the ring, I would like to introduce you to the first and second place winners in this afternoon's Melking Shorthorn Young Cow classes. Our first class for the day was the Fall Yearling Heifer and Melk class. There were four entries in the class, and winning was entry 2305, Blissful Go Omega, shown by Manana Go, Joel Schmitz of Eden Valley, Minnesota. 2306 was second in the class, Innisfail Cyclone Princess, shown by Michael Peterson of Ogilvy, Minnesota. There were 16 animals shown in the junior two-year-old class. In first place was entry 2327, Cherrywood Elizabeth II, shown by Roxanne Aachen of Ambia, Indiana. And in second, 2337, Halpin's Ruth Ann, shown by Elizabeth Rice of Halpin Farms, Kempton, Illinois. The senior two-year-old class had 17 animals, and the winning entry was 2350, My San Acres O Lust ET, shown by Rye Valley Farm David Riley of Williamsfield, Ohio. And in second, 2347, Innisfail ST Lady 910 EXP, shown by John and Kirsten Anderson, Watertown, New York. The junior three-year-old class had 13 entries. Winning was 2385, Halpin's Mona II, shown by M&G Halpin and Mackinson of Halpin Farm, Kempton, Illinois. Entry 2396 was second, Hardcore Rebel Rocket, shown by the Core Blue Syndicate of Cory, Indiana. And in the class that just completed, the senior three-year-olds, there were 13 entries. Topping the class with 2403, Walnut Grove Sandy EXP, shown by Dallas Butts of BDF Milking Shorthorns in Cory, Indiana. And in second, 2409, Welcome Party Cabaret EXP, shown by Jason and Linda Swanson and Julie Aves of Garden Prairie, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please give these winners and our selection of intermediate champion a round of applause. And now for his selection of intermediate champion of the International Melking Shorthorn Show, Judge Paul Trapp. Well, it's certainly been a pleasure for Peter and I to place the young cows today in the two and three year old classes and our two fraturity classes. Uh, let's give our exhibitors and breeders a tremendous round of applause. We pulled out the three individuals that uh, we admire the most of our young cow classes here. Uh, a lot of style and balance. Our junior two-year-old here off to my right, a tremendous young cow with a lot of frame, a beautiful udder, uh, a very youthful young cow. Uh, if you'd like to change her, maybe make her just a freckle stronger on her pasture, but a straight line, stylish cow. This senior two-year-old cow with a tremendous amount of frame, great balance to her, and a really, really nice udder. And then our first place junior three-year-old, a cow that's an ultra dairy cow. Uh, you'd love to see this cow in your barn every day, just a beautiful udder underneath this cow. Uh, three tremendous cows. For us today, uh, when this senior two-year-old came out, we just fell in love with her. And young man, if you pull her out, she'll be your intermediate champion. We just love the frame of this cow. Uh, just a beautiful udder underneath her. It moves well for a big cow on those rear feet and legs. Um, just a tremendous frame, and it is her frame and her overall length that will carry over our junior three-year-old that will be reserved. I love this dairy cow, and you'd love to see her in her barn every morning to go out and milk, but just not the overall frame and the length as our senior two-year-old. An honorable mention on our junior two, uh, our junior three-year-old just is a little bit stronger in those passions, a little steeper in her heel than the junior two-year-old. So intermediate champion on the senior two, reserve intermediate on the junior three, and honorable mention on our junior two-year-old. Congratulations. <laughs> 